Hi, welcome to the part 14 of this playlist. So we are looking at AWS Certified Developer Associate Real Certification Questions. Please do not forget to refer parts 1 to 13 of this playlist. In this part, we will cover questions linked with these topics. Please hit the subscribe and the like button that helps me understand the pulse of the audience. More subscribes and likes means that I put more contents regularly. Let's move to question 56. If there is an application deployed on EC2 and this is this is the application. It uses DynamoDB as a backend and this application is sending REST API calls to this database and an error happens here. This orange line here, this is where the error happens. And what is the error? They get provision throughput exceed error. And when do they get it? They get it during writes. That is when this application writes to this database, then they get it. So there are five options we need to choose two. So let's start from bottom. E says to have two db2 or dynamo db instances use one for read and one for write so dynamo db is a no sql database and it is expensive because it provides single digit millisecond performance at scale anything that provides single digit millisecond performance it is like ferrari and ferrari is expensive so if one ferrari has issues it does not mean you will buy two Ferraris because it is dead expensive. You will fix the Ferrari you have. With that logic, since it is not a cost effective logic, I would mark this answer or this option as wrong. Now, option D suggests to use DynamoDB DAX. So it is a cache kind of thing, in memory cache. So cache helps you only with read operations. Are we talking reads in this question? No, we are talking writes in this question. So for writes, DAX will not be helpful. We will strike this out. So option C suggests that I will fix both read and write. See, D was only fixing reads and we wanted writes. So option C suggests I will fix both read and write. We only want to fix writes. We will not take an option which will fix reads also. Because the question does not say that read is a problem. If you go to a doctor and you have a stomach ache and what if he gives you two medicines. One for stomach and one for your headache. You don't have headache. So why will you take that medicine? So that leaves us with two options and we need two answers. These will be our answers. Now let's look into SDK. So time for thumb rule. Whenever you see SDK, that means retries. SDK is built so that if it fails once, that means if this application sends writes to this database, if it fails, it will retry. In the microservice world, we have to put retries. So SDK is good at that. Second thing is the retries happens every say five seconds. Time for another thumb rule. Exponential back off equals try after some time. Like I told, SDK retries every five seconds. Again and again you are getting error. So have some patience, do yoga and come back after 15 seconds. So it may happen that requests may work. So first you will try these options. Then you will think of so buying another Ferrari. You will fix the Ferrari first. So these two are the final answers. Let's look at this question. So this question says like you have a custom library and you want to include in AWS Lambda. You got four options here. So we are talking about libraries and not blueprints. So this is wrong. So primarily blueprints, it contains portfolios of tested and validated services and third-party applications. But we are looking for libraries. 
So B says that you install the library locally and so anything local, I would say it's a no no. In some places, people say, yeah, this is the right option, and then you upload your zip file and host the library on S3 and reference it in Lambda function. See, Lambda function has its own function runtime. So this will not be required because option D would suffice. So if you see this documentation, which, which talks about creating and sharing layers, to pause this video, read this, you can deploy this as a zip file. And what is important is you include preferred runtimes and all code dependencies when you create the container image. So there is something called custom runtime and you can click this and read this. So this would be my final answer. Now let's look at question 58. So you have a legacy service and it has a soap interface. You know what is soap? It is not this bathing soap. It is not this. So we are talking about simple object access protocol. This is used in a distributed application elements where one element needs to communicate with other element. It can be you know carried over a variety of standard protocols including HTTP. If I want to communicate to, with you, I will pick the phone and talk. That is a protocol. In mobile phone terminology that is some protocol through which the communication happens. Same like that. If two applications want to talk, they will use SOAP. So developer wants to plug API gateway. So what will happen is this service, SOAP service will get exposed to customers. Okay. So there are four options and we need to choose which approach will work. So we will go with C and D first. Both are wrong because see it's saying to create a SOAP API with API gateway. Thumb rule time. So REST API equals API gateway. That means C and D are wrong. Now answer has to be between A and B. See B is saying that you use REST API and pass the JSON to SOAP interface through a load balancer. And A is saying that you use REST API but you transform the JSON into valid XML message for SOAP. See, SOAP usually interfaces using XML. And here also it is already saying it's the XML based. So if it is XML based, at some point, you have to use a valid XML. Now B does not show you anything about usage of XML. So for me, B is wrong and A is correct. So this is my final answer. So please hit the subscribe and the like button. It keeps me motivated to put more contents around this. Do not forget to visit parts 1 to 13 in this playlist. All questions are very relevant. This brings us to the end of part 14. We covered questions linked with these topics. See you in the next part.